And I'm not going to repeat my presentation from last week. Instead, I want to talk to you about how giving has made me grow closer to Christ. I know that I don't give enough of my time. I give what I can, but I know I can give more. The things I am involved in, though, make me feel closer to Christ. I get the feeling of satisfaction knowing that I am trying to please the Lord. I can never do enough, but I keep trying. But there is that feeling of, you can do more, Marilyn. What we give of our time and talent should not be done for the purpose of other people seeing what we do. It should be done for Christ. As Matthew tells us in chapter 6, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. If you do this for other people, that's what happens. And that reward from our Father is what we all want. We should give because it makes us feel good. That's the thing this year. Give till you feel good. We should give because it brings us closer to Christ. Again, our ultimate goal. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, it tells us, remember this, Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. In other words, if you give generously of your time, talent, and money for our Lord God, for our Lord, God will know. And it is God's love that we all seek. We are like small children waiting for our parents' approval. As I reflect on what I do for Christ, it will never be enough. But I know that every time I do something for his house or for him or make that cash donation or by keeping up with my pledge, that I am opening myself up more. <coughs> we all need to do this. Give until it feels good. And then give some more. You will feel Christ's love surround you. We are a community of the followers of Christ here at Shepherd of the Hills. It takes all of us to keep this community striving to come closer to and to please and worship the Lord. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ is all the inspiration we need to encourage us to give of our time, talent, and money. This is our Lord's home. Let's make sure we properly care for it so that we are honoring its landlord, Jesus Christ. Please give of your time and talent in any way you are able to. You cannot all do the same. Do what you can do. But please, please, fill out your pledge card. If you did not receive one, they are available in the narthex. Look at the chart in the narthex. It tells you how we're doing with those pledges. Remember, as I said last week, we have to have a budget to work with to run this house of worship smoothly. And for that to happen, we must know what funds we have to work with. That information comes from our pledges. And in closing, I had not pre-read the lessons when I did this, but it was what went through my mind at the time from Revelations chapter 1, verse 8. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and was and who is to come, the Almighty. That is why and for whom we all give. Thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. Amen.